So I was thinking about some things about the cars I pulled for you guys over the week. Well, for myself as well. Um, for last weekend and the remainder of this week since that kind of all flows <laughs> together. The weekend and this week. You know, so. This is like a logic of my intuition. I don't know if I did that, but I did let go of some shit. Because I had to, you know, I did, and coming to that conclusion and the decision wasn't really, I'm not gonna say it was easy because it's not hard, but it's just like, yo, nigga, you gotta chill, you really gotta chill, because I'm a person that, Everyone likes to have control, you know. Everyone likes to have some level of control in their life. But I understand. I know you can't control nothing but you and what you do. And I know that. I know even if you... Even when you, um... I got a message and it threw me off. <laughs> Even when you... I was talking about cutting someone off. Shit. Fuck, I don't... <sighs> Shit, where was I? Even when you... I was talking about letting something go. Right. Sometimes letting something go. You got something go that's not good for you, which is can be hard. Or should be really easy. Or something that could be like things that you feel that are good for you or things that you love and you have a strong feeling or attachment to. Sometimes you, those are the things that you have to let go to make room for other things in your life. Like I don't really feel like I'm putting my eggs in one basket, you know, with certain situations, but then again I have an understanding and I know and I have or I think I know I would say, you know, I have things to validate and corroborate with what I've been feeling or whatever, but at the same time, you know, I gotta let that shit go. I'm putting too much energy into something that is not in front of my face. I had to let that go. Like, you know, you can love people from a distance. I can love you from over here. From a distance, we can do that from over here, you know? And I, and I don't continue to do that, like, but to keep, like, knocking on a door that's not really opening. Oh, um, it's like, why am I, I'm not answering the door. Oh, bad. No one's coming. Right now. And also, you know, sometimes you, sometimes you have to let go of the things that you want. Cause they might come, they'll come back. And you know, I just like to talk. I'm a talker. You know, I like to let people know how I feel, how I think, why I think and feel the way that I do, whether they respond or not, in the way that I would like. It is what it is, you know. Was that where I was at? I think you can be, cause sometimes you can have the information and not use it. And then you're just being a fool and stupid. And you know, I try to act on the shit that I get and apply it so shit I applied some shit to my life I let go of something that I wouldn't say no longer serves me but it no longer serves me you know and I have to let go of that shit man I'm not telling you what the fuck I'm talking about because ain't none of your business but I mean so I did have to let go of something <laughs> I really did but it's not even like a whole let go you just let go of the outcome, the expectations. If it happens, it'll happen, you know? And I keep telling myself, and what keeps popping up in my world is divine time and divine right time. When the most sees that it's fit, then it will happen. So, I, we, but I, I'm speaking of, I, I have to stop worrying about that situation. 
what's gonna happen is gonna happen. It's meant to be, it's meant to be. Regardless of what I know or don't know or see and don't see or what was given to me or not given to me. If you, I can't make that happen. It's not meant for me to make that happen. It's just supposed to happen. You know, so. And I guess, you know, it kind of goes with me and, like, some of the things that I'm seeing in the life of some of my friends around me, too. Like, it's, this is really a time of, like, this is really, especially this year, especially this month. And, and just going forward, this is really a time of letting go and clearing what no longer serves you people places events situations you gotta let go of that because if you want something better for yourself like i wanted something better for myself i had to sacrifice and make changes like you just don't really know my life you just don't know the shit that i've been through some people do some people don't some don't have stories some don't like yeah to say i've sacrificed mad shit for her what I believe in, for my dream, for my goals, for my aspiration. And not just for that, for myself. Because <laughs> I had to sacrifice some shit to find myself. Like, I'm sleeping on my brother's fucking couch. Why? Because I'm living the life that I want to live. Not the life that people say I should live. You know? Some people are like, yo, you, there's people out there. I'm like, you're not taking responsibility for your life. Get a job. I don't fucking want a job. For what? God gave me gifts and talents to bring income in my life and to help others. That's what I'm supposed to do with my life. I don't know if you see the fly, but I have to dodge that. <laughs> like, some of you don't know your purpose. But to find out what your purpose you have to find out what serves no purpose in your life. Is this person making me feel good? Are they helping me? Are they building me up? Or are they breaking you down? Time to go. Um, does this job serve me? Does it make me happy? Da -da 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 -da. Sometimes you can't just quit a job, but you can look for something else. You can find out what you love by you're doing that job so you can use that to pay for what you want. Like, I could be taking my own advice, but fuck that not working for the man. Um, even situations in your life like I was talking with one of my peeps and I brought up a situation that happened to me when I was a young girl when I was six so like why do you keep bringing that up why do you keep I was like I'm over the situation but it's what I learned from that you know and I use that as a lesson like I was at this age and this happened and it changed my life it literally got like I at six, I learned how to lie because I told the truth and I got in fucking trouble and I didn't like it. So from that moment on, I lied. Let me commit a liar. I tell the truth sometimes. But even when I told the truth, they didn't know if I was telling the truth or a lie. And it's crazy because when I told the truth, niggas didn't believe me. But when I lied, they believed that shit. I don't get it. Why do you believe the lie and not the truth? But, yo, know, that's something I had to deal with. Like, I had to look at the situation and be like, why does that, remember I told you, shit replays in your mind. The memories that you have of childhood or any part of your life that keep replaying, there's a lesson that you didn't learn from that. You know? Like, I don't have to replay that shit no more. I know the lesson. I bring it up just because to see if there's anything else, but, but there's not. Like, I learned the lesson of that. I know that day my awareness at six i was fucking aware at six so listen to me when i tell you kids are not stupid they're not stupid as, as babies <laughs> or, or they're not but it also taught me i couldn't speak i couldn't tell my truth so because of that i kept a lot of shit inside you know and it festered like me gaining weight to me I was depressed, so I was eating or not taking care of myself because I already felt depressed on the inside, so I'm gonna just depress my outside. You know? 
got a wake up call last year. And I was like, we ain't gonna do this shit no more. We have to face them demons, let go, and then guess who came back? Butter. And that's just on, that's not even for the week, that's for my life. I let go, I let go of the logic, follow my intuition. And then the real me has emerged. But that the cycle of learning and letting go and healing, that, that doesn't really end. It ends when you say, I'm good. Or when your time runs out. Whatever. But, anyways, back to what I was saying. That this is a time of letting go of shit. This, it really is. Like, the things that used to work before are no longer going to work. And you're going to see that over the next couple years, if you are around, you're going to see that a lot of things that have been in place for years or decades or centuries, they're going to go. Like, they're going to go. They are. You know? And it's a time of, if you ain't finding yourself already, you better figure out who you are. You better figure that shit out now. I could tell you who you are. It don't mean you're going to believe me. But I would like you to at least take what I say and look into it for yourself. Because in reality, in, in reality, oh, we've been in the last days. We've been in the last days for like at least 2,000 plus years. Yeah, we've been in that. You know, it's just more global and getting worse. And then you have the news propaganda. Stop watching fucking TV. Stop watching TV. Just stop. They're feeding, they're, they're feeding you fear and bullshit. But anyways. I know it's just getting worse because it's, it, it's getting more in your face because we have technology. You can watch people get their ass whipped on your phone now. Why do you want to watch somebody get beat up? That's stupid. That's not that, like, is it? Well, God wouldn't watch that. Maybe some facet of God would. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe on the dark side. But anyways, but yes. Okay. This is the time of renewal, letting go. We have been in the for a very long time. These people are just not aware. Because you just aren't. Like, GMO. I keep telling you. I'm going to... A few things. GMO. Genetically modified organism. Carrots. Orange carrots, GMO, because carrots come out purple and white and colors that we don't even know. GMO. So again, like you are not gonna only, probably the only people listening to me are the people that are already fucking aware. But I'm gonna keep telling you, GMO, genetically modified organism. You know what that is? Franken food. Wanna know why? Because they made that shit in the lab, and then they grew it. It's not from motherfucking Earth. It's from a lab you made a watermelon that doesn't have seeds what god didn't make the watermelon like that he made a watermelon with seeds the white and the black you know these are eating shit that user because it's what you are used to it's what you were born into hence born into bondage y'all niggas are in bondage Time to let go of them chains. Time to take back your birthright out here. Time to be who you were meant to be. You know? It's time. Everybody in your life, in this world, has a role that they're playing to help you wake the fuck up. So you can see what's going on. You know? And I'm always going to take it to y'all religious folks. Always. You want to know why? Because you just don't pay attention. Like... How many people have died in the name of Christianity? Because that was right. How many people have died in the name of Islam? Because they felt that was right. Have you ever... Christians, have you read the Quran? Muslims, have you read the Bible? Nigga. Same motherfucking book. Different. But same motherfucking book. You know they talk about Jesus in the Quran? Did you know that? Did you know that? No. Did you know Buddhist teaching? It's the same shit as the Bible. And the Quran. 
Did you know that? Did you know that? Probably not. You know them hieroglyphs on the Egyptian wall for all my black folks out there. You know when that was there? Before religion. It was there before that. You ain't talk about Jesus. No. So. Um. Right. And it's just the more you know, the more you grow. You just only know one thing. Hallelujah. Little do you know that. Hallelujah. Jesus. Right. Came from your spiritual teachings, brown folks. I'm just telling you. I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm lying. Still sitting here, fam. <laughs> but no, seriously. Gotta look into this shit. Your water. Your water's not clean. There's fluoride in that shit. Been fluoride. Fluoride's not good for you. Fluoride's actually a poison. Look it up. Did you ever break down the word AIDS? Autoimmune deficiency syndrome? Look up the word auto. Is that what it is? Auto. I forgot. Look up the word immune. Because if you're immune to something, you can't get the shit. Deficiency? But if I'm immune, how am I deficient? Syndrome? But if I'm immune, how do I have a, how do I have a syndrome? Uh, did you know also anything, like if you have a cold or something, like there's certain things that can happen to you that can make you positive for an HIV test and you ain't even positive? It's the mind fuck. Um, the vaccines that you allow them to give your children, they're putting shit in their body. There was no vaccines before. Nigga, there was no disease before. Do you know? I don't like to be like this. But yo, it's time for y'all to wake up. To let go of this shit. You know where disease came from? Then go. I don't like to sound negative. Like it, it's real shit. Disease didn't come. How did y'all figure out where disease came from? But there was no disease on there. I don't know why. Because niggas just ate from the the tree of life. Like it's just ate from earth. They ate the vegetation, the roots, the tree of life. You eat from the tree of life, you will have everlasting life. Eternal life. Fruits and vegetables. You know people wasn't dying till they or probably just left till they was like two, three hundred years old. Nigga. They put an expiration date on your life so you can recycle. The Matrix is fucking real. Watch The Matrix. They tell you everything. And you're just like, oh, that's a cool-ass movie. Nigga, that's life. Plugged in? I'm plugged in right now. You watching this? You're plugged in right now. Unplug, nigga. Get back to nature, nigga. Nature. <laughs> I'm just going off because this is... I, I have to say this shit every day. I feel like every time I get on here and I'm just randomly and I don't have a topic because I was on topic and I was talking about letting go. But now... For real, you have to let go of some of this shit, man. You have to, like, the way you view marriage. Gay people, be gay. I don't care. More power to you. I love you. <laughs> Fuck do you care? Uh, King James was a faggot. No offense if anyone took offense to the faggot word, but I'm just saying, King James was gay. You read the King James version of the Bible. He was a known flaming homosexual. Known flaming homosexual. Do your re motherfucking search. And who is who was he to revise the Bible? Who was he? Oh, God must have told him. Shit. Well, guess what? I'm gonna revise the Bible too. You wanna know what? Because God told me just now. Revise the Bible today. Make a pie. Make a pie. 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 <laughs> you know, like, be silly. Oh, this is about to be a long video. But yeah. Your food is being fucked with. <sighs> you feel like I'm trying to scare you? No, I'm telling you the truth. Your food's being fucked with. Your water's being fucked with. Your air is being fucked with. Why would why would our go why why would they do this? It's a form of fucking control. So for everything, religion, control, education, control, 
government control. Control, 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 control. Who gave them the authority to have control over your life? Who? Like, I'm low-key man. I mean, I know I signed up for this shit before I actually was born into this. But yo, I didn't sign up for this. My parents signed me up for this shit. I didn't know. You know you don't need a driver's license? You know you don't have to follow their rules? But you do. You give them power because you give it life. Take your motherfucking power back, niggas. Wake up. Let go. You don't need you don't need no one to govern you. Look what they're doing. They're not even gov what are they doing for you? What have you done for me lately? Oh wait. <laughs> and I'll be sitting here waiting like y'all niggas is waiting for Jesus. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know me. And maybe this is why I don't get business, because I'm coming at y'all. I don't care. I'm only speaking truth. I'm only speaking knowledge, information. To y'all, it's probably lies because you are not going out to find the information for yourself. I'm telling you, don't take my word for this shit. Just go look. Man, this is a 21 over 20 minutes. I'm out of here, man. But yo, it's time to let go. It's time to let your true self shine. And those that of you that don't want to let go, you're going to shift anyways. It's, it's going to be hell for you if you don't do it freely. It really is. Because I see it around people that are going through it. Or you can say, I'm going to let go and let God guide me. And it'll be a little bit more easier journey for you. The choice is yours. But as always... I love you guys. Thanks for listening to me. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Vibrate a thousand. LOE. Love over everything. And it's Friday. Damn, it is Friday. I did speak some truth to the, per the situation I let go of. Mm. Damn. Made me cry too. You know me. Emotional. <laughs> but, um,. Friday, man. Speak some truth, man. I speak truth to you all the time. I'm talking my line for now. Ha. <laughs> because I know what's up. There's no need for me to lie. Um, so yeah, speak the truth. Pink Friday. Um, blue Friday. Purple Friday. Mix them together. Um, uh, yeah, so be awesome, be great, be love, be you. If I can do it, you could do it. I'm no different than you. I'm really not. We all come from the same place, the same source, the same higher power. The most high. Some of us are just a little quicker and a little more advanced. We've been through this shit. I feel like I've been doing this shit for a long ass time. I'm tired. Now I'm just ready to continue my spiritual growth and help y'all niggas wake up too. Because, you know, the change in the world does start with yourself. And my world has changed. Because I changed me. Or I let go of the things that weren't me. I don't like to say I changed me. I didn't change. I just got rid of the shit that wasn't me. You know? But anyways. I'm out, man. Love, peace, hair grease, soul. Oh, let's get it. You're great. You're a God in the flesh. I'm going to keep telling you that till you understand that. You're a God in the flesh. Because you are God in the motherfucking flesh, niggas. You got the power. So, but I'm out.